As a matter of fact, this is my first major press interaction, and uh, nowhere else you could get that but in this Charles Boyan Hall, which is coveted for providing platform for the exchange of government information. So I'm honored to meet all of you. So uh, I'm Christopher Peters, and OIC for LDA. The mandate there is simple, go in, calm the flares, stabilize the agency, refocus the men to their statutory mandate, which is the continuous fight on drug and its related offenses. So basically today we just want to give you an overview of some of the activities that are going on, and to also use this opportunity to tell you that next week will be the International Drug Week. We'll be celebrating uh, throughout the week. We'll be having events, and the day will be celebrated on uh, June 26, followed by June 28th, Burn Day on RI Highway. So we'll just give you some slides about, basically about LD, and maybe you know some of the information already, but we just want to re-emphasize so that you know what we do every day when we go to work. So the source of our authority is uh, in the 2014 Drug Law and also the 2023 Amended Controlled Substance Act. So we have the primary function in this country among the law enforcement institution to uh, take care of combat drug, illicit substances, we investigate, we charge and forward people to court. Uh, we are also responsible to destroy the cartel. On June 9, in Bomi County, at Clay, there was a random search of vehicles, and one suspect, Mustafa Kamara, a librarian for the four years old, was arrested with 28 plates of high-grade compressed marijuana. Uh, the street value for that is somewhere around 420,000 librarian dollars, and the U.S. portion is 32,000. And he's been investigated, charged, and forwarded to the, uh, the third member magisterial court. Also on June 15 to this year, suspect Rita Williams, I think you saw some of the Facebook video, 56 years old, is a Liberian. She also holds uh, Dutch citizenship, as we learn, and resident of the Ewa community. She was arrested with cocaine uh, at the clay checkpoint. And that cocaine weighed 1.9 kg, a value 102,619.4 million in LD. So she's been charged and forwarded to court. So suspect Williams had gone to Guinea and procured this amount of cocaine we, we caught with her. And she passed through Bow Waterside and we grabbed her to Clay Checkpoint. And she told us that, and, and, and this brings the reason why we need to do uh, international collaboration with our partners. She told us that her market, the targeted market was Europe. So she was taking the cocaine to a Belgian and Holland. Hopefully she has gotten her way through RIA. So we go to Bommy County, uh, no, Grand Cape Mount County, June. We had a raid there, LDA had a raid there in, on June 14 and 15 at a gold camp there in Gola Kone. We had six suspects arrested, including three females, all Liberians. Uh, they have 19 plates and 33. 32, 33 wraps of kush, four cans, two plastic and one plastic C of uh, local marijuana, three plastic of wet powder, 68 wraps and tube of heroin, three plastic of white powder believed to be precursor, and, and other than were uh, charged, investigated, charged, and forwarded to the Maestria Code in Rubber Sports. June 18, 2024. Doing a random search at Bow Waterside. We also uh, saw two vehicles that were abandoned. So apparently, when the, when the DEA agents were doing vehicle search from one vehicle to another, the two vehicles at the tail of the land noticed that eventually the agents were caught up with them. So they voluntarily got out from the car and walked away. And so when our agents got there, on board the two vehicles, we found 32, uh, uh, 32 plastic of kush. Yeah, there are a lot of kush coming in from Sierra Leone into Liberia. Yeah. And so we got, we moved uh, this stuff to Monrovia and including the two vehicles because there were no occupants. 
because of the quantity of the, the drug farm, we had to move it to central headquarters because where we, there where we got better storage than in Grand Cape Mount County. And also on June 18, at the same board of sir, June 19, at the same board of sir, suspect Mohamed Sankor. Now this one we had someone for the two years who is a Sierra Leonean national, residing in Freetown, was arrested with six plastic of Kush, weigh 168 gram, and the street value there is 3,360 US, and in LD is 638,400. He's being investigated pending court trial. In Montserrado County, we have total Kush seized uh, about one point is one thousand forty five grand value twenty thousand nine hundred and sixteen US dollar three point nine million in LD total marijuana see so far in Montserrado County six point four kg value four hundred and sixty eight point four US dollar LD is ninety two thousand four sixteen total tramadol the pill they sell in the pharmacy uh, 34, 347.8 gram, value 486, 486 USD, in LD is 92,416. Total heroin seized in Montserrado County, 83.1 gram, value 3,739, uh, equivalent LD is 710, 710,410 in LD. Total cocaine, 4.3 gram, value 232.2 US dollars, equivalent LDS for the $4,080. So far in Montserrado County, we've been able to secure 18 grand jury indictments uh, involving several persons who are currently on a pre-trial detention. And hopefully, once the trial starts, with the evidence we've put together, we're confident that we'll have conviction in the 18 indictments. Riverside County, June 12th, a raid was conducted. Suspect Amara Conner, a Liberian, was arrested in Luma community with 17 tubes of heroin uh, and uh, 20 dispensary plastic of Kush. You know, those dispensary plastic to put the medicine in when you go to the drugstore? That's what they also use. And then in Grand Basso County, June 9th, uh, doing a buy and burst operation in Big Joke Town, Samuel. Prince Samuel was arrested, along with uh, Jackson Eve. They had 37 dispensary plastic of Kush, value 740, and LD 140,600. Both suspects have been they've been charged and sent to court. Margibi County, we ran an operation in Margibi County on June 5, 2024. Prince Nimlin was arrested, it's a Liberian with eight gram of Kush, value 160, and 30,400 30, LD. He also had two gram of cocaine and one gram of heroin. So we also arrested a Nigerian in, in Kakata. His name is uh, Aki Mustafa Jr. He was arrested with four tubes of heroin, value 1,800 US, uh, 342,000 LD, with 21 wraps of cocaine. Both suspects, Nimlin and uh, Aki, they have been investigated, charged, and sent to court. 